My name is Valerie Pizzullo. I'm a graduate student at Clemson University. I'm about to graduate with my master's degree in mechanical engineering. Uh, my application is a tool for machining process monitoring to aid in chatter identification. The application combines different data sources collected from a machine tool controller, such as Nakuma, and combines that information with data collected from a, a data acquisition system through where you can collect data from sensors. And this tracks the part-specific information according to specific part numbers and uh, jobs that are created, and is an extension of the sample client tutorial provided by the MT Connect Institute on uh, mtconnect.org. The technical requirements of this application are that it requires a connection to an MT Connect compliant machine tool. Uh, it requires uh, use of National Instruments data acquisition tools, which requires uh, use of hardware and software to collect data from the sensors. This particular application uses a compact RIO, which is an embedded real-time controller, and it requires LabVIEW to run in the background in order to support that. And then the use of vibration sensors would be able to detect chatter, such as an integrated tooling force sensor that was used in this application. The benefits are that you can integrate data from different proprietary sources in one common location, and this helps you provide early detection of destructive machining conditions that could reduce part quality and increase costs of replacement parts. The application itself is a easy to use uh, graphical user interface on a familiar, win familiar Windows platform, so this is very easy for an operator to become familiar with it and can be customized for use of uh, any sensor uh, applications that you may require uh, due to the customization of the Compact Rio itself. Uh, so I'm going to show a video of the application. The user can start by clicking Start New Job and scan in a part number that will be tracked along with the job number so that you can keep track of part-specific information. And you can choose where to save this file. Then you can connect to the agent, and the agent structure will be shown, and you can click and drag into a list or into a plot, and all of the data that's collected in the list will be saved in the same file. You can get information about any d data item that you desire about your machine. You can also look at the specific machine information. And then once you start the data acquisition process, the application reads in the uh, sensor signals. So we can look at these four signals in the time and frequency domains. And you can also monitor the tool temperature. And once you're ready to record data, you click the record data to file button. And then you can also drag individual data items to a spindle speed gauge, um, mainly used for the spindle speed data item. And then once the machining process is started and the application uh, can see the force variations that can be attributed to chatter in both the time and frequency domain. And then you can coordinate where chatter could have occurred on the part using the MT Connect data gathered from the machine tool. And then you can look at what parameters could have caused chatter to occur. And all of this information is saved in one location according to the part number. You can clear items when you're done using the application or would, if you would like to uh, include different um, data items. And then you can also disconnect from the agent to either connect to another agent or connect to the same agent again. If you want to start a new job, you just click the Start New Job button again, and then it increases the job number. It keeps track of how many jobs have been uh, performed. And then the file name also updates according to the part number as well. And this particular application uh, implementation saved in a CSV file, which can be opened in Excel and used for future analysis. So for each data item, there's a corresponding sensor signal saved. And then you can plot this data. 
This in particular is the force signal, signal uh, showing f large force variations that can be attributed to chatter. And you can plot this against any MT Connect data item, which this would be the Z axis position. So you can correspond where chatter could have occurred on the part and uh, also what other parameters could have caused it. You can also monitor the tool temperature for tool wear applications and then also correspond that with the MT Connect data items, such as the X position, see what the tool temperature was doing uh, along the cut. Thank you.